Hello friends! Back! We're back with the Go-Working Club. Um, for the first time in a while, huh? Um, I really miss streaming. I had such a great time streaming those last few weeks of my sabbatical, streaming this website build. And uh, yeah, it's Saturday and I just felt like spending some time on my website and I was like, why not do it with the Co-Working Club? Maybe it feels wrong to call it the Co-Working Club um, <laughs> when it's the weekend and I hope none of you are actually like working, working. But yeah, um, we're gonna hang out. I'm gonna work on my Webflow site build a little bit. Let me just get all my shit together. <laughs> Um, please tell me as well if the levels are off or anything like that, but hopefully I'm coming through loud and clear and you can hear some tunes in the background too. How are you all today? What are you up to today? One second, let's bring my website up on Figma. I'm going to have to like get my head back into this project, aren't I? Because it has been a while. Okay. Here we go. So, as you may or may not remember, um, we worked on the design of the site together and then I started building it in Webflow and this is kind of where we got to. Okay, yeah, notifications, notifications. Um, yeah, I believe if I go to, oh, that's the old site. Go to my staging. I believe we got this working. Uh, although apparently the, there we go. We got our sweet carousel. So today I need to get in the actual content for this. I need to finish the styling on this as well as of course the styling on the remainder of the page here. And I believe that I had just been getting started on the footer last time. Yeah, I had, this is, this is what we got. So we're just going to work our way down the page and, um, I am really trying to take the mindset of, um, how can I get this page finished? Like, what can I do just to get something live uh, as soon as possible? And then the cool touches can come later. Cause I think that even without any interactions or without adding in the cool little, like, um, where was my, I don't know where my doodled on version has gone, but like, you know, the cool things like the little doodles and things around the place. Um, I think even without that, the, the site will be good. Can I code in React? Absolutely not. <laughs> Using Webflow instead. I do know about Tailwind though, and that's what the ConvertKit marketing site uses. And so um, I speak to my developer about that. Okay, um, where to start? There's also like getting all these links together. Like that's a thing that has to do. Um, I'm gonna start with styling this though. Um, connecting all these pieces to the to the CMS. And I actually want that to be an H3. Hi, Happy Mojos, how are you doing today? This is, mm, right. This is the link to my category. Um, I'm just reminding myself of what, oh, topic name, there we go. That's it, that's what we want. Working with UX case study, nice. Are you, so you're working on like personal stuff because it's the weekend, I hope. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you're working on a computer on the bus, Matilda? Wow. I don't think I could do that. I think that I, like, I don't really get car sick, but that is something that I don't feel like I'd do well at. <laughs> um, okay, for this, I want to continue with my themed colors. So I believe, yeah. Cool, that I can just do that there. Sweet. And we want this color to come from that as well. Mm. Uh, 
yeah, I don't know how many people are going to um, show up to the stream being the weekend, you know. So, shout out to you all. <laughs> I know this is not my, my usual time to be streaming. Any recommendations for beginners on where they should start learning about UX, UI UX? I don't know. Um, I feel like the Shift, Shift Nudge is a course by Matt D. Smith that's really good. Like, I really respect him as a designer and I know that that would be a good course. Check it out, see what you think. Um, I think I want to make this like small text. There we go. And we need to get the text from the summary. There we go. Hmm, interesting. Did I type in caps with this? Oh, okay, I did. <laughs> How did I start learning Webflow? Um, I believe there's actually a video on my channel of my first impressions of Webflow. Let's go take a look, quick look. If we go to my channel. Um, I'm gonna search for first impressions. Yeah, here we go. This video here five years ago was my first time trying it and I recorded, yeah, my experience along the way. So check it out and <laughs> you can see it. Basically, I just learned by stumbling my way through it, but also Webflow University is fantastic. Um, yeah, for, for learning how to do certain things. That is what I would recommend. Ah, look at my other first impressions that I've done. <laughs> We go. I got a video from you from like five years ago. Oh my gosh. Okay, Tyron, that was my, ooh. Was it a video? I don't think it would have been five years ago. Hmm. Talking about my, like, um, my university design work, right? Was that what it was, Tyron? Cause that was a fun series as well, where I went through the work that I did each year of design school. Okay, we clearly need to style these bad boys. And I feel like there was some <laughs> way that I was doing this that I now do not remember. Hmm. Maybe I was just doing it on this page. Yes, exactly, Tyrone, that one. I thought I was very punny. <laughs> did I have something on a section that would, okay, I did. A class on it that would give it padding, great. Why has this got so much padding on it? Ah, just because of the grid. Um, I feel like here we have too much, like these are too close together. And is this still, I think it's still connected. That's good. What did I want to do down here? Yeah, I sort of had it start in a little bit more. I'm gonna put a um for my personal site. I I thought through the oops the navigation on mobile and tablet, but the rest I'm just like stacking and making design decisions as I go. I I mock up tablet and phone views when I'm designing for work though. Hmm, how much padding am I going to want to put on this? 
Let's see. Yeah, that's nice. What time is it for you? Oh wait, Matilda, you said um, you're oh, right that you've been on a bus in the mountains since eight thirty p.m. Stockholm time. Is Stockholm in the same time zone as me here in Spain? C E S T. I feel like I can't. I think it must be. Okay, let's style these these bad boys. Also, I feel like I want to do some sort of like centered thing with this. Can I do that? Make this um, some sort of padding on this that's causing it to oh I think it's probably the padding on the top of this right yeah there we go that's better that is the same it's 315 here too am i still in touch with christo um i wouldn't say we talk regularly but like if we have something that we need to talk to each other about we can hit each other up it's great he's a he's a great guy doing such cool things with the future hmm That's right, I needed to style these somewhere else, didn't I? That was what it was. Okay. Because my... Slide arrow. Sorrow. Nice to see a co-working club member here on this random Saturday stream. Um, I truly don't remember where I was doing this, so I'm just going to do it here again. Why can't I see? Okay, we'll forget about it. <laughs> okay, so we want to put the class slide arrow on this. And so we want to have background none. Is that going to help? Let's see. Yes, that's better. Cool. And then I gotta think about hover states and everything, but whatever, that can come next.
My first week after sabbatical was fine. Um, I found it really difficult to look at a screen for so long, quite honestly, um, after so long off. That was the hardest part, which was, yeah, not what I was expecting, I guess. Um, but yeah, all was well. Okay, let's go back to finishing the footer then, because I think we're looking like a pretty good place with this. Um, I, I don't know about that, Happy Mojos. I think that if you go around saying you're a web developer, but all you can do is Webflow, then it could lead to people falsely thinking that you can do things that you can't. I don't know. I don't know if that matters though. So why is this one? This is what I can't work out. Okay. Why this is having some sort of extra space on the bottom of it. Like why are you extended so tall? Yes, sorry, you will see that hopefully next week. Um, it was my first day back that I vlogged. Okay, why is this doing this? I do remember now that this is when I started to give up last time because I got frustrated with it. See how this is all nice and thin? And this is the same thing, but then this one is tall for some reason. Oh, is it because of this? No, that can't be right. Why are you doing this? Do I need to put a flex on this? Because if I move this in here, oh, it's still doing that. Okay, that's interesting. Oh, okay. I see why. I see what I've done. Undo, undo, undo. <laughs> this, um, first of all, doesn't have to be flex. Needs to actually have, it needs to be a link block with text inside it rather than, um, yeah. Okay, that's better. That's better. Okay, great. We figured something out. <laughs> okay, now for these bits here, how do I want to tackle this? I guess these are a group. And this is a group. And maybe I use grid? Yeah, probably. Although I feel like these... Yeah, okay. Let's use... Twelve column grid here. Add a div. And that will span one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight columns. And then another one. Three, 
three columns, right? Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, four columns. <laughs> I just copy this image. Oh, and this actually. I'm just going to copy all of this in. Oh my god! First of all, thank you for being a member for six months of Sorrow. Second of all, thank you for shouting out the Marketing Design Dispatch in your message. That's really cool. <laughs> yeah, I'm really proud of the Marketing Design Dispatch. Um, it's probably one of my favorite projects that I work on. My first internship? I never had an internship. Um, yeah. Never. That wasn't something that, um, that I ever did. The first design job I had, though, was making email graphics. Graphics to go an email newsletter um, for the baby store that I worked at. <laughs> Okay, so within this, we're gonna have three other divs. And it will have, I don't know what, is that an H5 or something? I don't know. H6, okay. Looks like it's an H6. Oh, I love that. I love that you've noticed that, Asaro. <laughs> Have you also noticed that um, a lot of the time it's either a gift from the office or Shit's Creek? <laughs> Those are my faves. Tyron, maybe a personal question, but do you think you want children? Very personal question, but I'm happy to talk about it. I wouldn't advise you go around asking anyone else that though. Um, nope, I don't think I want children. I'm happy with my life and my cats. Hmm, I think I'm gonna have to do these as link blocks because I want to put this little icon to show when they're going off the site. Okay. Ooh, I think this should be a um, symbol. Because I think you... No, it can't be a symbol, can it? Because... Um, yeah, of Webflow's symbol within a symbol thing, I think. I don't know, we'll see. Um, okay, what was that? Design Life Podcast. Definitely not Helen. Um, what sort of role would you want in a tech company? Thank you. <laughs> yes, that's right. Keanu Reeves was in there once as her. <laughs> Let's go to our OMG SVG. Can't even see it on that screen. <laughs> um, add an embed. We want the fill to be current color, and we'll take off that opacity bit too. Okay. Cool, that's in. Let's 
So text is semi bold, color white. And we'll do a put a link external, put this S inline block. margin on that and there we go opacity that seems something seems wrong why is this chopped off oh weird but it's not when I okay well, we'll just chalk that up to a Webflow quirk. Now, can I make this a symbol? And we'll call it um, for the external link. Just because if I then change the design or anything, it'll be easy to yeah make it apply to all of them. Um, we need text and we need the URL. That will link to that and the text. Link to that. We'll have that be the placeholder. Nice, Helen. There we go. Look at you taking action. Doing an eight week boot camp. And yeah, um, knowing SQL will be a huge benefit. Okay, well now we need to think about <laughs> um, this whole thing shouldn't be in line. There we go. Is eight pixel margin between them enough? I think it could use a bit more. Okay. Inside marketing design. Why is this override situation not working for me? Is it getting confused? Oh, here we go. I was just in the wrong tab. No. Whoa, okay. Um, what did I do? <laughs> did I lose anything? Okay, interesting. We seem to be back and we don't seem to have lost too much. Okay. to, before I go much further with this, check that I can make this whole footer into a symbol. Yes, I can. Good. I 
thought that was the case. I thought the Webflow now allowed um, symbols within a symbol. So now we might as well put this on our homepage and then I can see it in situ, which would be nice. YouTube. Yeah, I've never seen that before either, Tyron. Very odd. Wow, it's definitely struggling. Look how slow it's like typing. Very odd. I didn't think that my um my site was that large. Yeah, the M2 chip. My, I am working on a um, iMac Pro, so it's um, a lot. Definitely doesn't have an M1 or an M2 chip in it. And I had that. How much capacity was that? Sixty percent. Okay. I'm gonna copy this block and we'll see what happens with it. Nope. Okay, I was in the... Ah! Nope. No, 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 not there. Get out of the opacity! There we go. Okay, so I want to make these flex. Yes, that way. Good, good, good. This I have. Eric, nice to see you here. It's cool to see some week weekday regulars on the weekend. <laughs> um, I do want to get a new monitor, but I need to get a new desktop first because my desk itself just cannot hold any more stuff <laughs> i need something a bit bigger first i want a vertical monitor for the chat essentially um during live streams and like you know all the other controls and this section is products Oops. I don't think I'm going to switch um, away from my my trusty iMac Pro anytime soon. But the Mac Studios have looked very tempting. I think I need to put a max width on this. I don't understand what is, what the hell? <laughs> this is very weird how it keeps like typing slowly. And then post a job ad. Webflow did refresh itself just before, but maybe I should, um, yeah, maybe I should do it myself. Let's try that. Let's go back out to the project settings. And we'll just, just try coming back in. Yeah, join me in some Webflow work, Eric. Is it possible to jump into a junior role in UI UX design with? What do you mean jump from what? Junior role is the start of the like levels. Oh, do you mean without an internship? 
because you were, you were asking me about internships before, right? Because in which case the answer is definitely. Oh, interesting. It didn't save any- look at that! It didn't save anything I was just doing. It like lost it part way. I mean, it saved some things, th thankfully. This is so odd. <laughs> I don't understand. Um, what's up, Webflow? What's up? What's happening? Good old more section. Why don't I do this so I have to stop clicking back and forth? Maybe I've got too many symbols? I don't know. Yeah, I wonder if it's Safari. If so, but like, I don't know. It's a WebKit browser just like Chrome is. I'm gonna put resources in here, but I do not think that I'm going to have that page ready for launch. That's right, it can be optimistic. Okay. Um, now, I want to put a border, like a stroke on this. Yeah, maybe Webflow's having a sick day. It's the weekend after all. <laughs> um, how wide is this here. Oh. Hmm. Also, I don't know if this whole external link thing is going to... how that's going to go if I put a max width. Let's try. Let's, let's see how it goes. Um, 215 pixels? And I clearly need... What? Your photo looking at PC better look at left. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> yeah, I think this is Webflow trying to tell us that I shouldn't be doing this today. <laughs> Let's put a left margin on of Ooh, no, we need some padding first, don't we? What do I need to have this set as so that it sticks to in line with the text? It probably just needs to be in line, right? Hmm. No, that didn't do it. Yeah, how would I do that? How do I code that? Anyone got any advice? I'm trying to get the, basically, this link icon. Oh, okay, well I need to go to the, where's the original? Wait, this was the original. I want it to sit in here, right? Like next to the text. I am 
am looking there in the in the header. Look. Look at me go. Oh, you mean in this picture? Yeah, I don't have a shot looking the other way. Yeah, I don't know. Because I always try and think, how would I code this? Oh, has the music stopped for you? I can still hear it and it still seems to be playing... It might have just been in a quiet moment, Asaro? This would have been good time for the hopeful song, yeah. I don't know. I don't know how to get that... What does that have to be? Does it have to be something to do with span? Ooh. Okay, well that just did it, but um, I don't know if that breaks things somewhere else. Let's just see. Okay, well that was easier than expected. Apparently I just didn't click the right button when I was trying that before. <laughs> Um, and let's put a border on this one side. Being dark purple. Then on this one, we will say... Um, end. And that one will have no border. We need a bit more padding on this this dude, don't we? Or margin rather. I want to see what this looks like live because I can't see my form um, in here. I have a feeling I might need a different form because I made some edits to the custom CSS of this one in ConvertKit to get it to look right in my header. Do we want me to turn the music up? Is that the problem? It's hard because all the songs feel like they have varying levels. Ooh, that's weird. What's that doing? <laughs> you <laughs> oh pagination okay do I need to just do a hide on that or something um looks like we could do with some more space between the sections here and yeah, some better padding in the footer. We're getting close though, we're getting close. How much? Okay, so I need a lot more, I think, padding on the top here. I think these feel like they want more room. Oh, I forgot to pay attention to what the form was doing. Yeah, okay, so this needs to be a different form. Which is fine, because then I can have one that has the first name as well, which would be good. I think Safari might be the problem.
we're gonna duplicate this form I think yeah and then I'll just remove the bits I don't want um, so we want to add um, a custom field it's gonna be first name I'll put it first finding the custom CSS I added to I think from here on was me messing around with that let's publish it and see is it necessary to use an HTML CSS validator I don't know quite what that means happy mojos so I guess not. <laughs> publish, publish. Okay. Let's um How are we looking? Okay, so why have you got a padding on the side? Ah, okay. Mm, where am I going to get rid of that? side padding before and I'm not sure how I did that like this one I must have done it on right it is weird isn't it Eric Tyrone, that'll depend on the website and also the change. Like if I know exactly what I want to change and it's for my personal site, I don't bother mocking it up first. Um, but if it's for work, one, our work, the ConvertKit site isn't in uh, Webflow, so it would have to be built, so I'd mock it up for the dev to build it. I bet that comes in when there's two fields. Hmm. Um, how do I get rid of this padding? You'd think I'd know this, given that I work at ConvertKit. I mean, a cheat's way would just be to put padding on. Um... Oh, that has margin on it too. On this, so that it matches up <laughs> right so I should just be able to put in form kit form maybe let's see Sometimes it can take a minute for changes to take effect. Yeah, we'll come back to that. But um, how's the rest of this looking? Okay, so I need to change, hmm. 
how this stretches in the container. Because I basically don't want it to go the full height of the grid. Oops, no, well, yeah, that we want. <laughs> But I think I have the right code in there now, I just gotta wait for the changes to take effect on the server. Hmm, apparently not. Let's see. Has it added itself in or not? Is my padding zero showing up? Maybe I need to specifically add it to this data style clean. Because that's what I want. That's looking better now though. This is ending at the bottom of the newsletter. Nice, nice. I don't know if, um, how I feel about the spacing here. If I, I think I want less space. Yeah, let's do that. We'll give this... us I've designed the page in Figma that's what Figma's for is for designing and now I'm building in Webflow hmm why is that still not taking effect it's oh I feel like it's cached you know I'm gonna try opening it in chrome oh I already have a chrome window open here we go Asaro here's our hopeful song let's see how it's looking in chrome I love my new tight head a second I think it's so nice compared to What's there? This song is called Set You Free, and it's an Epidemic Sound royalty free track. <laughs> no, it's still doing it there too. Interesting. I'm gonna. This is something that I feel like. Um, I always feel like it's my duty as a ConvertKit employee and as a user to point out things where I'm like, this should be easy to fix. <laughs> so I'm gonna get the team's help on, like, what's the best practice for getting rid of that? But yeah, this is feeling like it's looking good. Maybe I want to not have a button here. Just thinking. The 
because I think then we're like too buttony. Yeah, I think what I'm gonna do. Oops, that's not the design. <laughs> I think we're gonna add in oh cool so we can't add that in there never mind for now then I'm just gonna leave my button in okay I need to look at where this is coming from and get rid of that um, so it's Splide Pagination and I think if I just did a, if I do a display none, will it help? Nope. Oh, right. Cause there's already a display. That's what we're gonna do. So on my style page, um, if you missed the, I think it was the last stream that I was figuring that out. Um, this is using some sort of, uh, I don't even know what the word is, library? Like, I don't know, custom code. Uh, what was it, underscore underscore pagination? Yep. So there's a few quirks to it that we gotta figure through. That should have been got rid of now. The world is balanced now, thanks to the hopeful song. <laughs> Oops. Just constantly showing you my messy desktop. <laughs> um, ooh, that's uh, something that needs fixing too, isn't it? This clearly needs more space here. Ah, right, yeah, that's why. Ba, 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 ba. Can I put margin on here? Will it break things? I don't know. trying to decide what I want to move on to next obviously there's lots to do with like linking things up I feel like it's boring <laughs> I don't want to do it right now oh okay hmm you have not disappeared as I hoped you would did I not spell something correctly perhaps Oh, did I not refresh the page? I thought I did. Yeah. Where is the color coming from anyway? Yeah, there we go. So my class is in there, but it's because it comes after. Okay. Let's see. Maybe there's something I need to do in the um, custom code that's on this page about that. I wonder if I can go false and then it hides it. Let's see. Do I have an end goal? Um, I feel like I'm living out my goals right now. I am enjoying continuing to learn, continuing to have an impact on a business with my 
design skills. Um, I don't know if I want to go further and like lead the wider, a wider design team at a company, or if I'm happy just leading the branded marketing side right now. Um, yeah, I don't know. On my sabbatical, I definitely, what the fuck, why are you still there? <laughs> okay. Hmm. Um, on my sabbatical, I definitely started thinking about like, what do I want to do next? And really feeling like the next move for me might be working for myself rather than for another company. Not anytime soon, but. thought that would work. Did I type false wrong? Ah, okay, right, it shouldn't be in. There we go. Thank you, color coding. Crossfingers, yes, it's disappeared. Just what we want to hear. Amazing. Ah, oh, you're gonna go just because you don't have any more questions? Just hang out. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Go live your day. What I could do is, um, let's come in here. Can I like copy? Oops. That and put it in here. What? Footer link? Where'd you get that from? Copy. Yeah. What the heck? <laughs> okay, apparently it can't do that. Am I just gonna have to copy the classes? Arrow link small, arrow link text. Can I copy the icon? link get it to fetch the background. CTA. Definitely Webflow cost us. <laughs> um, and yep, I do have Pry HTML and CSS experience. I built previous versions of my marketing, of my, of my website, my personal site myself. I built my own custom web, WordPress theme. Um, and I ran the ConvertKit marketing site for a couple of years by myself doing the design and the code for it. But now I am happy to not have to do that anymore. <laughs> oh, this shouldn't say that. This should say, get the font. Oh, I love my nav, it's so cute. Okay. Um, right. I want to think about making a plain page template, I guess. 
Oh, do I? There's so much to do. I just want to get this live. I just want to get this live. Uh, okay. Well, let's think about the blog page at least. Um, yeah, this is just the the rough styling which we need to connect. So, as a reminder, for my blog page, I decided I was going to do this, I think. So now we see how well our symbols and everything work. Um, No, you go to the top, please. Thank you very much. Nice, nice. Okay, now we add a container. I'm gonna feel really good if I can actually get this page up and running. Then maybe it'll feel less overwhelming. I don't know. Um, I want to put this collection list within the grid. Okay, yep. But we'll have it take up how many columns? Interesting, Asaro. Oh my gosh, Asara, me coding um, web WordPress themes, that would have been a chaos stream, let me tell you. Seven. I think I needed to add a section in between here. link these things up get the text from the blog post name yes get the text from topic name and then we come in here and we go get text color from the topic name get background color from the topic name oops nope not that <laughs> never mind never mind border color isn't that cool? So in the Webflow CMS, you can have a um, a color field. And so I set a color for each of my... Um... Oh, interesting. What's that doing? Yeah. I set a color for each of the different topics that I write about on my blog. Ooh, I just thought of an idea too. Um, yeah, and that means that you can have it show us a different color in the CMS, which is fun. I'm calling them articles rather than posts. What do you think about that? Oh, wait, 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 wait. And then I add on. Which I'm going to rename article. Nice. See, so then it all matches. I wonder if, okay, this is an idea. If I say get background color, right? But then I come in here and I have my background be 10% opacity. No, it doesn't let me do opacity. I think if I change the opacity, yeah, I'd be changing it for the whole thing. Well, that's a shame. Basically, I'd like to be able to have the hover be purple instead of this gray that it is right now. Um, but you can't say get hover color from, yeah, whatever. 
Thoughts on using Notion? We had um, a few people apply when I last did a hiring round um, with a Notion doc linking out to projects as their portfolio. It was absolutely fine. I wouldn't advise it as like a freelancer, if that makes sense. But I think applying for jobs, then you'd be fine. Oh, I see what I've done there. Oops. Okay. Oops, and I haven't connected this yet either. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. And then this is going to be... Ooh, fuck. I've made things hard for myself, haven't I? <laughs> I think so, Osaro. What do you think? Um, Nova Freelance, I would say, because if you're a freelance web designer, then your portfolio itself is an example of your work. And if it's just a Notion doc, I don't think that'd be very impressive for clients. Depends on like the reputation you have and the client base you have though, I guess. Okay, let's search for Webflow category filtering. Um, let's see. Oof. Let's go for that effing sweet video. Oh, hello. That's way too loud for me. I don't know about you. Hi everybody, it's Joe Crew from Vince In this video, we're going over the Ethan Sweet CMS library for Webflow. Okay. A live example going through the filter code. In this example, we go over using a dynamic list to create your filter button. That's what I want to do. Okay. Of the Ethan Sweet CMS library. When we launched, we had a lot of requests of people wanting to create a dynamic list of filter buttons. And we are doing it through the Ethan Script. If you haven't listened to examples one and two of Filter, please go check those out first. This is considered a more advanced step to next step. Oh, Samson, should I look at a different video, are you saying? show you what we are doing here. We have our collection list of multi-reference categories, totally CMS driven. We are using a native web component collection, and this nested collection has the same source our multi-reference categories. We are going to be filtering by these values, and we're going to filter our nested collection. Great, let's go and see this live version. Let's just search the FN Suite website maybe for... Here we go. This is probably the one, right? Let's look at the examples. Yup. Cool. Let's follow this. Copy this. Uh, well, maybe I should set up my... Um... No, we're going to follow it in the order that it wants us to. <laughs> into the head of the page. Boom, step one. I think I am gonna need my list laid out, so we will grab that first. Oops, yep, save changes, please. I did. And this will span four columns. But it'll start in the ninth. There we 
go. So then we add a collection list, right? I'm guessing. I might end up having to um, redo some of this. Why can't I find? There we go. <laughs> Can I copy you? Topic tag. God damn it. It's so annoying how it won't let me do that. I'm like, please, I just wanna. Okay. film good to make something responsive. What do you mean Tyron? Um, I find it handy because then you adjust how much, like how many columns something takes up um, as you go. And can I get them to... I would like them to be ordered. There we go. to this. Let's see what we're doing here. I want to filter the content of this. Yep. So I'm adding this attribute to the list itself, which is this one. And I'm adding it to the collection list. List. Yes, exactly, Osaro. You're right. Okay, and I want. Ooh! Form block. Interesting. Okay, so I didn't have to do it as a collection list. <laughs> hmm. Let me add a form block then, I guess. But I can like... How, how should I go about setting it up? Okay. Is there anything about... I guess I could watch the tutorial. I really prefer to read things though. Hello everybody and welcome to a walkthrough with attributes. We're going to walk through okay, we're going to pause our background music step right step now. Into using attributes in your Webflow project. This filter example is for one of our enterprise clients at Suite. We're using demo data. We're going step by step into building UI, filtering data, and you will learn a lot by watching this walkthrough. Let's get into the project. Let's see how it works and let's experience the power of attributes together. And we're going to build this exactly. Look at this. Oof, that's very complex. Um, yeah. As you can probably get a sense of my method of learning, it's like, let me just try and struggle through it on my own. <laughs> um, okay, so what form options can I have? Forms. 
Is it technically a checkbox, these things? Can I get into the... Let's see this. Um... I don't know, Asaro. I'll think about it. What would you... What would you be looking to get out of that? like copy this is that what it's telling me okay so it's just a radio button let's try style it ourselves oh okay wait didn't theirs have Interesting. I am just going to copy this. Can I just copy it into my form? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. But I don't want this. And I don't want that. Oh. Hmm. You wouldn't find that annoying to watch a conference talk with me, like, butting in and talking over it? I don't know. Okay. Let's try set it up with one. Like, let's just try get it working first and then I'll worry about the styling maybe. Um, and do I apply it to form block or form? Oh, either or, okay. Well, let's try put on this then. Yeah, I'm with you, Zara. I'll have a think about it. It'd be more fun to do like a live chat, I feel, so that I wasn't like talking over the... I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Do I use affiliate links? Yep. Sometimes. Okay. The identifier. Uh... 
And is this in... Oh my god, my brain cannot handle what this is trying to tell me to do. Okay. I want to be able to see my sons with this content. Okay, so on this... Right, okay, so I'm adding it to both. And it should be on the label. So, it needs to go, oh, okay. That's helpful. <laughs> of course, because it's already set up. Okay, and then, um, should be on here as well, right? I'm going to call it topic. Topic. Wait, that's it? That's all it's telling me to do? Let's publish this and see what's happening here. Why do I insist on making things more difficult for myself? I said at the beginning of the stream that I wanted to like get something live quickly. Yo! Okay, well that's kind of cool. So I need to learn how to have like a, a clear. Reset. Okay. Yep. So if I had a, let's just attach it to. Wait, does it have to be within a form? I don't think so. I'm just gonna try it on this for now. What did I have to say? Reset. Oh, it must be nested within, so it does have to be within the form. Right, because that's my filters element, yep. Let's see if this works. Thank you, Samson, I saw that a bit late. <laughs> Cross your fingers, everyone. Okay, so we want to see business or we want to see all. Yo! Fucking stoked. Okay. Um. Cool. So how? Let me look in this thing here.
Hmm. In their example, the radio button... Maybe I can... Isn't 100% width and it still works. So how have they got that set up? Wait, what? Let's duplicate this anyway so that we have them all there. And did that work from me just having done that? really having to think hard now. <laughs> this is so cool! Okay, that's great. Right, styling them then. To label these, don't I, for um, accessibility? the field right that has a mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay 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 can I make my form block yes but I think I want just block oh okay no that's gonna go the full width is it um Sarah, I think you probably can expect more weekend streams for the website um, build process. What do you think? How are you enjoying the weekend stream? How do I make this? Why are they going full width? And how do I stop that from happening? Concerned I'm getting a little bit too hacky here, but we'll see how we go. How can I get these to stack without... Um, so it'd be something to do with this. Maybe if I put flex on this, vertical. Yes, that's what I want. Okay. 
But now I want to make them the right colors. Um, okay. We can do that. We can do that. Blue text color. Blue. Something doesn't seem right. Oh, that's right. The hmm seems like my font size. Why are you behaving differently? Wow. And why are you trying to select there? That's very confusing. Semi bold. So why are you not semi bold? Blog filters. Yeah, sorry folks, I'm not paying enough attention to the chat. Thanks, Osaro, for answering people's questions. <laughs> um, yeah, what is happening here and why are you not the semi-bold that you should be? See how it's all thin? Oh, right, because this. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. There we go. Okay, well, that turned out to be an easy fix. <laughs> purple and purple. Teal. Oops, no, wait, 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 wait. wait. Let's add the class first. How's your bus journey going, Matilda? Where are you off to? If you feel like saying. You can be vague. <laughs> Oh, on the font weight, Tyron? Yeah, probably. I really should get used to streaming with my screen not so, um, like, large resolution, I guess. I have always have it set to more space, um, which makes things pretty small for all of you. But I also don't know if I could work with it much smaller. <laughs> I mean, with the, without the more space setting. Let's delete this here. And this link will be a... Uh, mm. Wow, I really can't edit the... This radio button just gets in the way of everything. Can I delete a success message from my form? No, apparently not.
need to add some space on this. Let's publish and see how this is working. Nice, I bet you're looking forward to getting there if you've been on the bus since 8.30. That's such a long trip. What do you mean, Nassaro? Add um, like all the marketing design dispatch emails to the blog? I am gonna have a sign up for it, if that's what you mean, in here. I'm just gonna get this working first. So I shouldn't have anything set to active, but clearly something is. Oh, wait, are they not all working? Yeah, they are. No. Hmm. <laughs> What have I done? <laughs> yeah, I've lost my attributes, haven't I? How did I do that? How did I fuck that up? Is this gonna work? Well, to be fair, Osaro, I don't post on it very often. Most of my writing just goes directly to um, the email list. Something weird is going on. I have screwed something up at some point, but I don't know what or how. <laughs> oh, that's right. It wasn't on that, was it? It was on the label. So I, I did have it set right. Yeah. Okay, wait on. Remove it from there. Hmm. Something to do with this radio button, the fact that it's like taken over the place. Come on, spoil. <laughs> yeah, you know me, always pressing that button. Oh. Okay, we seem to be back. Crisis averted. Cool. Okay. Oh. <laughs> nope. So this is, um, yeah, a promo for the marketing design dispatch, but more subtle, if that makes sense. Way more space than that, don't we? Active blog link in the nav looks odd. Um, what do you mean? What What's odd about it, Taron? Let's steal the same form from the footer.
I just I just spotted it, Tyron. Yeah, that needs styling. <laughs> That's so funny. Up just after you said that. I've been staring at this page for how long? Yeah, 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 you're right, it is. Um this needs its active styling. Current. There we go. Thanks for spotting that. Okay, we have a blog page. The podcast is, that's going to link out to uh, different sites so I don't need a page on my site for them. Um, excuse me, what's going on here? <laughs> Where did our image of grayscale go? Don't do this to me. I guess I can style an individual blog post. Um, hmm, this is interesting. How do I want to manage this? Because this is... What's the URL of this? Right. Okay, I think I have an idea for this. Um, I'm gonna add in our nav. It's gonna have our footer, of course. Can I copy from the blog page just this? Let's see. I don't think so. How is this working? Um, right. Topic is current topic. Okay, that makes sense. So let's filter this now. Topic is current topic. Yeah. Because this is the page, like, if you are on a blog post and you click on this topic tag, that it takes you to. So I want this see all articles button here. Would um, take you to the blog page. Yeah, this is kind of nice too. Um, yeah, maybe I just don't let people switch between topics here. Okay, take you out.
this gets text from life mm, okay See what we think about this. I'm gonna delete this column above. Okay, so not super ideal because you can't switch between different, but I think I'm okay with it for now. It's like a good for now solution. All right, how long have we been streaming and what have I got to, okay. Right, I think that I can um, finish today by making the this individual blog post page. Let's try, at least. So that's going to be a blog post template. Once more, we add our nav, we add our footer, instead of this, we're adding our grid. No, we don't want that. Okay. drag all these things in here. Hopefully they can continue working. And I don't want that anymore. I don't want that anymore. I don't want that whole block anymore. Okay, this is gonna take up one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven columns again. This might be easier than I expected. I am sensing that um, I should make this a symbol because that way if I want to change the text I only have to change it in one place and I won't have to go to my topics page, my individual blog post page. Yeah. Yes, Tyron, that'd be ideal, wouldn't it? <laughs> Let's make this a symbol. Cool. So on my topics page now, I'm going to delete, delete. that in nice on blog post as well I 
I still don't have comments on my blog and um, I think I'll keep it that way. Now. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, I just realized that I have this. Wait on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah. That's right. Never mind. I thought I'd counted wrong. <laughs> A button. Icon button. No, I do kind of want a purple one, so let's come to our style guide. Can I just duplicate a symbol? No, apparently not. I don't think I can copy stuff from within a symbol either, can I? Arr. Link block, copy that inside. Button. You can you can do that? I guess like that's like detaching a component, right? I think I had the image as well, right? It needs to be linked. Image. Cool. Um, I think I need to add this little Twitter icon. To my folder. Makes sense, Tyrone. I didn't even think about that. Let's try this now on our blog post page. Can I like swap? No. Have you be, please? Nice. Um, maybe something like that. save I feel like it hates me changing text on symbols uh, I think I will bother adding in um, the call out text here now where did I do this before
Uh, I'm gonna have to go to my homepage and copy my own styling. <laughs> Actually, I'm just going to directly copy this. Thanks for joining, Matilda. Glad to have kept you company on your bus journey. make this work. Okay, too much. <laughs> um. I think it'd be better if this was sticky, but also maybe not. I think I'll just leave it as it is. Oh dear, how have you lost all your styling? That's annoying. Oh, that's right, okay. Yeah, I gotta style a rich text element, don't I? Let's just make you a link. So hopefully now, if I go back to my blog post... Hi Tyron, thanks for joining! Yeah, links are looking better. That's good. Cool! So I think we pretty much got the blog... Oh no, wait! We haven't got the section done, have we? Then I wanted to have a bit below. Okay. Ooh. I'm gonna have to try and remember how to do this. Let's give it a try. I think I have a bit of time. have a grey background. Yep, that grey. Yep, 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 yep. A container. I guess then my 12 column grid again. this blog post brief can I copy oh I don't have it open anymore damn it can I copy this I've never actually set up like a next and previous blog post thing in Webflow, I don't think.
Wenzel, you realize I'm in Australia? How did you realize that? Because I haven't been in Australia for... Ooh, I don't even know when was the last time I went to Australia been. Like seven or eight years ago? <laughs> Something like that. So I don't know how you realize that. <laughs> I live in Spain and I'm also not Australian. <laughs> know how to get it to do this. I'm going to Google it. Okay, Webflow next and previous blog post. Surely there is a... Wow, I can't believe that you have to do a... I have to do a like a plugin thing for this as well. I guess that actually would be the easiest thing to do is actually set something in the CMS. But still. That is very odd. Huh. This is the thing with Webflow, you're like, I don't know. It's so, so sim things that you think should be simple and then you're like, wait, <laughs> how? I'm gonna try set up a reference thing, I guess. And then I'm gonna have to go through all of my old blog posts. Let's see how this works. Corey! Welcome, welcome. How's your week off, pal? Ooh, Frank, that's exciting. What's the different role gonna be? Okay, let's try this. Previous post was... Creating an interview series. And then in this one, previous post was doubling. And then the next post is making friends with data. Let's try it on two to start with. Ooh, that's awesome, Frank. Are you excited about it? Like, is it a role that you'd be interested in? So this post is making friends with data. Okay, so if I filter it to the previous post. But how do we get it to show that one? <laughs> Maybe I have to... Oh, you're not going to let me change the... Source? Let's see. Um, ooh, 
I don't think it should be a collection list, should it? Okay, wait on, wait on, wait on. I have an idea, I have an idea. I think I should just be able to get it from next post name. Oh, previous post name. <laughs> yes, okay, this is gonna work. There we go. Mental gymnastics to try and think about it, but still. Okay, so the... Um... Ooh, that's annoying though. I don't seem to be able to get the topic name from the previous post. Mm. Come back, CMS collection list. I'm going to try again. That's awesome, Frank. You're obviously impressive in the interview, right? Aha! Okay, so maybe I didn't have to set up a... Oh no, I did have to set it up, but... <laughs> that doesn't make sense. Maybe I just can't have a topic tag on these? Yes, CMS woes, Corey. You know how it goes. <laughs> Corey advocating for WordPress. That is not something you see every day. I think I'm just gonna forego. For the sake of getting something done? I don't know. We won't have this show if there's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Not a next post, which there isn't here. One day, Corey. One day. Maybe. Before Spain, I lived in London for four and a half years. And then before that, I was in New Zealand, which is where I'm from. Okay. This is breaking my brain a bit. I feel like I'm probably coming to an end for the day because I, yeah, can't think what I'm doing. But I'm pleased with making some progress. It's going so much slower than I would have liked, but you know, it's looking pretty cool overall. We've got some cool stuff happening. 
Um, finished the footer at least, that was nice. And got the like quirks on the homepage sorted out. It's really just content. Hover states now that I need to do there. Um, what else do we do? We got the blog done, that was good. With the fancy filtering. So that was exciting. That was a good, you know, thing to learn. Yeah. Overall, we're getting there. It's just taking a while. I think what I need to do is make a sitemap for myself so that I can be clear on um, what pages I actually need to build. Because there's a bunch of pages on my old site that weren't in the navigation, but um, they're like linked to from a bunch of places. So I need to make sure they exist. So yeah, that might be what I need to do next. And maybe I'll make a video about making a sitemap for your personal site. That could be useful. All right. Well, our music has come to an end as well. So it's apparently telling me that it's time to end. <laughs> Thanks for joining me today, everybody. I really appreciate it. Um, always appreciate you being here and for your support as I struggle through things or, you know, sometimes have something good happen. If you missed the filtering, let me show you. Wait, maybe I should ship the latest version first and then I'll show you how that's working. Because I'm very proud of this having worked out. <laughs> Let's go to it. Is it still working? So we see thoughts on business, content creation, design, life, all of them. Yeah. I think we need to, I need to figure out how to get the active state working on these, but it's okay because the functionality is there. So we'll make it happen. All right. Thanks for being here, folks. I will uh, see you all in the next stream, which hopefully won't be another two weeks away. We'll, we'll see. Um, yeah, I don't have a lot of hands-on design work going on at work at the moment. So um, yeah, it's been hard to, hard to stream. But thanks for your patience. Thanks for being here. Have a good weekend and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.